Please wait. It may take me a moment to answer. Somebody walks up to it, does it let you know? Yes. I, I, okay, on the doorbell one, too? Okay. Yeah. If you got it set up right. Okay. It's I got think, a bunch of settings. I think I'll have to get one now. Well, <laughs> uh, I guess, guess I'm going to Best Buy here in the next few days. I, I, I was concerned about the backyard mostly because behind me there's a cornfield. Yeah. Three miles that are three quarters of a mile long. I got a private backyard. Coyotes or whatever else. Well, I ain't worried about coyotes. I'm worried about somebody coming across that field to my back door. That too. They're not. Then, uh, no one's yeah, gonna I mean, see. Yeah, you it. don't know because it's dark. No one's gonna see. Okay. Yeah, well, the minute they step into my backyard, the floodlights in the back go off, and <laughs> yeah, they're tied together. Okay. So it lights up the whole backyard, and then if they, stay, you know, and they're like, oh. They gotta turn around and leave. You never know them nowadays. I mean, you gotta take every precaution and measure that you have to to protect. No, especially you know? with the crime. I mean, exactly. Crime. I mean, and be killed. I was born and raised to be killed. It, it's kind of worse over the, the last few years. I mean, it's gotten bad over there. There was never any shootings. No, it yeah. never used to be like that until what the last five years oh. or so, oh. give or take. Yeah, you from where are you from? I actually moved out to Cornwall in 2003, so I've been out here 20 years now. But I'm from Florida, Rockford, but ra raised in St. Charles since I was like 11, so ever since I was 11, now, until I was out this far. I'm out here from St. Charles Post Office. Did you? Yeah, yeah Rockford, it, there's a lot of bad spots in Rockford that ain't the greatest to see there, trust me. I did a detail, this was 25 years ago. Uh, details a special assignment job, uh -huh. and they said go to the main post office in Rockford. Yeah. And then I had to go to the satellite offices, which I think there were four of them. Okay. 
and say, they say, well, go to the main one first. I go there and this guy meets me and he says, uh, I'm going to uh, drive you around. He says, because if you make the wrong turn in this town, we might never see you again. He actually said that to me. Wow. And they took me to this one post office, one satellite office, and it was like a post office inside of a big building. Uh-huh. And I was talking to the guy there, and he says that uh, they had a bench out front, and they had a clock above the, you know. Mm-hmm. And he says, when we close, we, we bring everything inside, because if it's not nailed down, it's gone in the morning. Wow. And he said they'd been broken into like four or five times. Really? You know? That's crazy. And then also at that same place, where the carriers left, the parking lot where all the mail trucks were uh-huh. across the street. Yeah. And they had a big, like, ten foot tall fence That's, around it. Yeah. And usually when carriers are ready to go, they triple out one at a time, uh-huh. two at a time. Yeah. Well, at this particular place, they all left for across the street same time they left their mail into their trucks and they had a deal with the police that there would be two squad cars there wow. because they've been getting mud out there. That's insane. This is what they're telling me. That's yeah. You never know how it is. You know? That's... Wow. Alright, well take it easy. You have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your week. Thank <laughs> you.